Hey kids, Grandma here, Grandma Patty Ann. Hey Layla and Levi and Carter and Connor and Kyle and Ava. Hope I didn't forget anybody. But anyway, hey kids, how are you? Hey, I've got another story for you today. Let's get started. This is another story about the library mouse. Remember, we got introduced to him last time. And tomorrow's story is also going to be have the library mouse in it. So here we go. The Library Mouse, A Friend's Tale by Daniel Kirk. Sam was a library mouse. He lived in a little hole in the wall behind the children's reference books. Sam loved to read. And he loved to write, too. Everyone loved his little books. But Sam was very shy, and no one at the library had ever met him. Once a week, the children at the library met for Writers and Illustrators Club. For our next project, said Miss Forrester, the librarian, I would like all the boys and girls to work with a partner. One of you will be the author, and the other one will be the illustrator. You will find out how teamwork can make a great book. At the end of the meeting, there was one child left standing by himself. Don't worry, Tom, said Mrs. Forrester. I'd be happy to work with you. When night came, Sam, the library mouse, went out went to do some research for a story he was planning to write. All night long he studied, jotting down things in his notebook. But as the sun rose, his eyelids grew heavy, and he fell asleep. Squeak! Sam awoke with a start as the children filed into the room. In his hurry to escape, he left his little notebook behind. Tom discovered it on the librarian's desk. Carefully, he opened the cover and turned the pages. Then he went to tug at Mrs. Forrester's sleeve. What's this, said the librarian, flipping through the notebook. From the titles of the stories in here, I would guess this belongs to Sam, our mystery author. He's written so many books, and yet we've never had the pleasure of meeting him. Let's put it back on your desk, said Tom, so Sam will find it. That night, Sam climbed onto the librarian's desk to look for his notebook. As he hurried back across the desk with his prize under his arms, the mouse stepped across an ink pad and left behind a trail of footprints. Good morning, Miss Forrester said to Tom when he arrived early the next day. Did you bring some ideas for a story that we can work on together? Not yet, said Tom. Then he noticed the inky marks on the librarian's desk and saw that Sam's notebook was gone. Impossible, he thought. When he was sure no one was looking, Tom got down on his hands and his knees and he peered beneath the library shelves and around the baseboards, not quite certain what he was looking for. Suddenly, he saw a little hole in the wall. Now he knew why Sam always seemed to write about mice. Tom tore a piece of cheese from the snack he had brought, and he left it by the opening. Oh, no! Sam cried when he stepped out of the hole that night and saw the cheese. Who could have left it? He wondered. What do they want? Sam thought it might be best to leave the cheese alone and pretend he had never seen it. The next time Tom came to the library, he found the cheese looking dry and lonely, just where he had left it. He replaced it with a peanut butter cracker. Maybe Sam will like this better, he thought. Indeed, when Sam awoke and smelled the cracker, it was all he could do not to gobble up the treat. Clearly, someone had discovered his hole. Sam hoped that if he ignored the food, whoever it was would go away and forget about him. 
But Tom did not forget about Sam. He thought about writing a letter to the library mouse, but he wasn't sure what to say. Then he got an idea. He sat down and started to write a story. It was called The Shy One. And this is how it began. Once upon a time, there was someone who was very shy. His name was Sam. People seemed to make him nervous. The children at the library knew what Sam was like because of the books he wrote. But nobody really knew who Sam was. And that seemed to suit him just fine. Until one day... When he finished writing, Tom folded up the paper and left it just outside the little hole in the wall. That night, Sam read the story from beginning to end. Tom had discovered the one thing Sam could not resist, a story. Sam grinned. He remembered Tom as a regular at the library. I've got an idea, he said to himself. And then he went into his hole and got to work. When Tom arrived later that week for Writers and Illustrators Club, he felt a little guilty. He'd been so busy thinking about Sam that he'd forgotten to do his assignment. He got down on his hands and knees to look beneath the reference books. The paper he had left there was gone. Then he heard the librarian's voice. Tom, what's this I found on my desk? I thought you decided not to work on a book this week. And then I found The Shy One, written by you and illustrated by Sam. I can't wait to share it to the group. Oh, no, thought Tom. The story he had written had been meant just for Sam to see. What if Sam had drawn a boy and a mouse? If Mrs. Forrester read it out loud, everyone would find out who Sam really was. And then what? Someone might try to hurt him or chase him away. Oh, please don't read the story, Mrs. Forrester, Tom pleaded. You should be proud of your work, the librarian said kindly. And how wonderful that you did a book together. I can't wait to hear more about who Sam really is. When everyone was seated, Mrs. Forrester held up the little book. She began to read. Once upon a time, there was someone who was very shy. His name was Sam. People seemed to make him nervous. The children at the library knew what Sam was like because of the books he wrote. But nobody really knew who Sam was, and that seemed to suit him just fine. Until one day, someone discovered Sam's secret. It was a good thing he only wanted to be Sam's friend. Come on, Sam said to Tom. Let's do it together. And they did. Mrs. Forrester read the story from beginning to end, and Tom was amazed to see the pictures that Sam had drawn. The illustration showed two mice instead of one, and one of them was named Tom. So tell us, said Mrs. Forrester, just who is this Sam who writes so many of our books? I just have to ask, is it you? Oh, no, answered Tom with a shy smile. I just wrote the story. Sam is real, but he likes his privacy. So that's all I'm going to say. A friend knows how to keep a secret. When the library was ready to close and Tom was sure that no one was watching, he bent to place something on the floor beneath the children's reference books. Sam awoke that night to find a note outside his hole. Thanks, partner. Great work. Your friend, Tom. Sam sat down at his desk. He had an idea for his own story about friends. He couldn't wait for Tom to read it. And maybe this time, his new friend would draw the pictures. And that's the end. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.